We ate dinner at Monsieur Benjamin. Did I sound like it? Monsieur Benjamin. I think I got it. Okay, so we made it to San Francisco and we checked in to the Clancy Hotel in downtown. but it is 24 seven, so you can pick up your car anytime. The hotel looks very modern, seems really clean. There's an air purifier in the room, so that is really nice. There's breakfast. I think there was a bar, because I saw a few people sitting at a bar. And then you can also order food, like fries and burgers, in case you don't want to leave the hotel room. We were able to make reservations at this French restaurant. We're just going to chill in the room. Until then, probably grab an Uber to get there. We went to dinner at Monsieur Benjamin. <laughs> we ordered oysters, bone marrow, duck confit, steak frites, and ghetto madeleine. There is 20% 20 uh, 20 service fee, which we found out is basically it's already the tips. So you don't need to tip in addition to that, but the 20% gratuity is automatic. It was a good restaurant. I would definitely come back. Good morning. We don't have any concrete plans today, so we're gonna go and grab coffee and see where we go from there. We were told that there is a park upstairs, so we're gonna check that out. doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like big pieces of What's wrong? It's shut down on me. So we decided to stop by Arsico Bakery, famous for its croissants.
We got the croissants. We waited 10 minutes for the... It wasn't very long. Yeah, actually, the, there was a line, like maybe what, how many people? Five? Ten. Ten people, but it was really fast. I'd say less than 15 minutes. But we're excited to try it. Okay. So you ate the bacon scone. Savory. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I don't hear a lot about it at all. Good. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Okay. That is good. It's like a really good biscuit at Red Lobster. <laughs> yeah, good bacon. Right? I think surprisingly the scone was um, like more, did it get like garlic? It was more flavorful. It was way more so flavorful. I feel like if you ate that first, the scones, they taste like bland, but they're really flaky. Next, we're gonna cross Presidio to get to the Palace of Fine Arts. I need to go find a bathroom. But I don't know if there's gonna be one on this trail. I think I'm gonna be here for 30 minutes. So, we saw these two hawks fighting. I didn't even know they were hawks at first. But, um, yeah, that's pretty cool seeing that in a city park. really big. There's water surrounding the Palace of Fine Arts. They have like huge columns. It feels very European and it is the weekend so there are a lot of people and there's also a Banksy art exhibit going on right now. Um, so it is a little crowded. Probably recommend going on the weekday instead. Highly recommend to come here. I can see it from here. We made it to the bridge. So we found a spot after the Palace of Fine Arts near the water called Christie Field where you can get a great view of the bridge we didn't know about. So we're trying to take an Uber now, but we don't have signal. Nice view though. So we are back at the hotel. It was so nice because we found so many places to walk to today that we didn't even plan. So first we went to grab coffee at Phil's, which is um, a well-known coffee shop here in the Bay Area that I love. From there, we went to Salesforce Park 
and then we took an Uber to Arsico Bakery because that was too far to walk and then we got our croissants there. Quick thing to note is that there are actually two locations for Arsico Bakery and I believe the other one is now open on the weekends. I did see a sign on the window but I would call and double check just in case. And from there, we actually walked through to the Presidio neighborhood. So we went through like a, a, a hiking trail area through the forest and then ended up at the Palace of Fine Arts where, uh, you know, it was just absolutely beautiful. The architecture, it, it made you feel like you were in Europe. And then from there, we ended up walking towards the water to uh, a marina, which I think is near Chrissy Field. And we got a great view of the Golden Gate Bridge because it looks like that this warm weather isn't even normal for November in San Francisco. But it was a clear, sunny day. The temperature was just perfect for walking. And that's where we ended our trip. I hope that we get to come back to San Francisco soon. So if you do have any recommendations of places to visit, I would love to hear about it in the comments. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.